you all step here from Southern Sky Tan Garden. It's a nice hot afternoon here over Labor Day weekend and we decided to order some additional beds, replace a part of the garden that I will show you in a second. But we get the beds, remember, from sportsmansguide.com and they are Castle Creek brand and they are galvanized metal so they're going to last a lifetime. And we highly recommend these beds. They are awesome and we have them all throughout our garden. They are all our raised beds. So I will turn the camera around and show you what we're doing. Cash, don't undo all the work that mommy and daddy are doing out here. What you doing, baby? All right, I know you gotta be in the mix. So anyway, so what Cash and I are out here doing is my husband put together the beds for me and then we laid down the shade, the, excuse me, the um, uh, fabric liner in here and I've been cutting pieces of it over here. I'm just going to cut another piece right now to put in the back. I cut already all the pieces that go along the side but what I'm doing here is I'm just tucking some pieces down here along the fence line back here to keep um, grass from coming up from our yard and the neighboring yard. I'm going to grab a couple more of those. Here. I just put my foot down and slide the scissors across. Alright, I just need about two more pieces. And then I'm gonna tuck that down in here on this bed. Along here. Are we doing it right, Cash? Are we doing a good job? Yeah. Yeah, you're a good supervisor. Excellent. Excellent. Cash the Doodle is on task. And I just want to remind you all, I'm out here in Zone 7B, Middle Tennessee. And um, this was the area where I had kind of a little bit of a redneck set up over here. <laughs> as far as I had some chicken wire in. And then I had fabric pots down here and I was growing zucchinis and some greens. And we upgraded. So now once I've got the fabric liner in there and along the back for some weed protection, I'm putting down cardboard boxes, basically the boxes that they came in, and going to get that in here. There y'all. No, Castle Creek, sportsmanguide.com. Excellent. And you'll see the link in my show notes for their products because like I said, all our raised beds are these. And I'm gonna need, I'm gonna bring my cutter out here with me. But I'm gonna just bring it and get some scissors here. And I'm gonna get this one down a little more. Okay. okay, we do what we gotta do. There we go. And lay this cardboard down in here. Okay, the other way. And I think this next piece will do it. And Cash just slipped off with some leaves. <laughs> so, hmm. there you go. He's busy at work, only he's taking them the wrong direction for me. He's supposed to be bringing them over here to me. And this is spurt. I pre-cut a lot of these in the garage, but now I'm just gonna put the rest down here. Okay. And then, as you can see in this bed, I had leaves down. Cash, can you bring me the leaves? Come on. Come on. Help mama. Yeah, help mama. Yeah, let's go down in here, okay? Don't take it away. Don't take it, Cash. 
No, don't take it. You're taking it away. <laughs> I'll go get some more. <laughs> oh my goodness. husband, my camera guy, will follow me with the camera while I gather up some more leaves and cash. What's going on here? Hmm. I am. But you all know his antics. But he's a good dog. He's a good helper. Oh, y'all, he's been so much more well-behaved in the garden now. Because you all been following me since he was a puppy. We put up this fencing we had here. But we put up fencing to keep him out of the garden. And now he follows me around in there. He's doing so much better. So we have a huge chestnut tree in our backyard. And I love it because I can get all these leaves from it, all the sticks, the leaves from the, oops, sorry, Cash. The leaves from this or everything that I use to mulch the garden with, if you've checked out some past videos of mine, you'll see in the fall, and of course I'll be showing it again this fall, where I have a iWorks mulcher slash blower that I use to gather up all the leaves. Okay, y'all, so I was just saying that um, with my leaves, I use the iWorks brand that we got from Lowe's combination mulcher and blower. And I use that tool to mulch all the leaves off our giant chestnut tree in our yard. So that gives me plenty of leaves, like I said, to fill beds with, then to mulch plants with. So we make good use out of that. So now that I have filled all the beds with leaves, I'll end up putting the soil in. I have um, the soil and a com mix of compost, and I do have a composting station over here behind me by the fence that we throw all our food scraps in and everything. So I'll end up throwing that all in and along with cold composting over the winter. And then I will be using mulch up leaves to mulch. So we make good use of that tree. We are so blessed with that tree. So anyway, then I also wanted to say that we got these beds. It's such a great deal on sportsmansguide.com. They were like $26. So that's why we ended up doing the replacement of the grow bags and the fabulous chicken, chicken netting that was here, <laughs> chicken little fencing netting that was here. So looks much better will be much more aesthetically pleasing for my garden so i will go take you over here now and show you what other plans i have for some additional beds that we bought so since they were having this fabulous year end sale or season end sale we picked up two more hexagon beds and my husband's corrected me because i keep calling them octagons but they're hexagons so we um ordered two of those and they are going to go down in this area here hopefully i have you guys all set up right because the sun is right in my face okay so now they've got the camera set up here on the main part of the garden so what i'm going to do is set up those hexagon beds over in this area right here we got two so we'll put them side by side and it was getting a little dry and dug up here anyway. Cash, with his doggy antics, has created a nice little hole here and kills off the grass. So I'm gonna fence in this area right here and then put those hexagon beds in, like I said. And as you can see, the flowers went kind of crazy this season. Tons of sunflowers, zinnias, and marigolds. They are my favorite to plant and daisies. And what we're gonna do next season is plant most of the pollinators in the two hexagon beds. And then I'll just have a 
you know, disbursement of flowers in some of the beds and pots within the garden. And that way I can leave my beds for vegetable growing as they're intended to be. So that should do much better next year because the flowers kind of overtook this year. <laughs> so that should work out really nice. And I think it'll be a good setup. Let me know, let me know what y'all think. So anyway, just wanted to share those plans with you. And thank you for tuning in and following my journey here at Southern Sky Tea and Garden. And please hit the notification button so you can see when I have new videos posted. And then also please subscribe. I am really enjoying the network that I have found through YouTube and through other gardeners. And I hope I can be of help to other gardeners out there. I'm out in zone 7B, Middle Tennessee, like I said, but I love hearing from all sorts of gardeners and love the community that we all create. So y'all keep growing and have a, one, have a wonderful day. Hey y'all. So it's a rainy day out here in Tennessee and I had not posted the video yet for the new garden beds, but I'm working on it today since it's raining. And while I was up there working on it, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go down back outside in the rain. <laughs> I've got an umbrella though, hello, and show you what I was putting in the beds since I started them. Because again, I did that layer of weed barrier, cardboard and tree branches and leaves from our chestnut tree out here. But then, since then, I've been kind of making a lasagna dish here and been doing multi layers throughout the last couple days of various uh, materials. So I've been using shredded paper. I've got brown paper and white paper in there. And I've got like some just various dirt that I had from buckets in the garden. And then I also added additional leaves because I went out one day and was raking up leaves in the front yard. And we have a maple tree, but it's the variety that has not the larger, like five fingered leaves, but a smaller leaf. So it's perfect because I don't have to mulch it up. They were already dry and crunchy and I just threw them in here. So just wanted to share with you as I continue to give you updates on the new beds. And I'm not gonna be planting in them this season. I decided I already have kind of so much going on and I wanna focus on pulling out um, plants that are, you know, just, that just need to come out. I'll do a separate video on my garden cleanup, but I was already out here pulling a bunch of stuff from the back, some tomatoes that hadn't even really taken off and some of the, um, uh, zinnias and dahlias that needed to come out so that's what i've been focusing on right now so i'll post another video on that but i just wanted to show you what i'm using to fill up the beds and then i'll still continue the lasagna layering and then top it off with soil as we get closer to later fall so that i can do some cold composting in there also throughout the winter and start throwing in food scraps to get the soil nutrients going and to draw in the earthworms. So there you go, y'all. Just wanted to share that update with you and y'all just keep growing.